Year 11s, this is a video for you in regards to choosing your A-levels or your BTECs um, or whatever you decide to do um, after your GCSEs. So I wanted to make this video because after discussing with a number of uh, Year 11s, I realized that uh, you know you need some help, you need some guidance. Um, likewise, I did at your age as well. And in fact, I'm just going to start off with that quick personal story, uh, what I did. So I didn't, you know... Uh, GCSE uh, age, I didn't know what I wanted to go on to do exactly. So for my A-levels, I chose a variety of A-levels. I chose sports science um, because I was good at sport and very good at uh, my GCSE uh, results were good in, in PE. I chose graphics because at GCSE I enjoyed it. I chose business studies um, and I chose IT. So sports science, graphics, business studies, IT, none of them really have any link to each other. So I chose subjects which were very broad and wide. Um, and then I further on went on to do my degree in international relations and politics. Again, nothing to do with the A-levels that I had chosen. So the reason why I'm telling you that story is because I felt like I made a mistake. I felt like um, I didn't have a strong combination of any subjects which was guiding me into one direction. Um, likewise, people always said, do what you enjoy, do what you enjoy. So I chose the four subjects that I enjoyed. However, that didn't lead me um, to really something which was substantial. Um, so what I would advise, I would say, yes, do what you enjoy, but don't forget, that which you enjoy, you will continue to enjoy. For example, what I'm trying to say is you enjoy um, learning about the world, politics, geography, for example. But if you decide to go down the medicine route, it doesn't mean that interest and that joy of learning that subject is going to stop. That will still be there and will still grow. So don't forget, whatever you are enjoying and interested in, you can continue that passion for that topic or that subject, even if you don't choose it for A-level or degree. Um, likewise, I would agree to an extent to say, yes, obviously you want to do something that you do have some interest in and that you don't hate because you're going to be studying it in depth for quite a while. So I, if I was you, I would get the balance right. Uh, make sure that it's practical. Make sure that there maybe there's a good career opportunity in it. Um, ideally, I would also recommend try and become quite specialised in something. Don't go down the route of being too broad and too general. For example, a degree in business studies is very, very broad. Try and be more specific. Am I going down accounting route or the marketing route? Or, for example, if you um, have a degree in psychology, Again, very broad, but can you specialise more in child psychology, um, genetic uh, psychology or something along them lines? Yeah, so try, I would recommend anyway, try and go down or try and be more and more niche, more specialised, more targeted um, because that will filter uh, the population out because so many people will choose it. So many people will have a, a broad, wide coverage of these subjects. However, the more specialised you can be, the more you will stand out. Right, so that being said, it brings me to this page, the uni guide. So if you're searching for your A-levels, I would recommend uh, straight away going onto this website, the uni guide, A-level explorer. From here, um, I would go to find a course. And from here, I would start course search. So now what we are looking at is all the degree courses in the country. Now you can look at them via category or literally through A to Z. So we're working backwards here. You're going to see what degree courses take your fancy. Then you are going to see what are the A-levels that are required to take that course. That is going to help you choose your A-levels. So for example, we'll go categories, yeah? Architecture. Let's go for the first one, architecture. Let's have a look. Architecture search all courses or you can just start going down and look at it as a general or overview these uh, bullet points here give you an idea of example of the modules which gives you a more um, in-depth idea of what you'll be looking at uh, but at the same time it's quick you can just read the bullet points and get an idea 
if you could further on go down it, it talks to you more about uh, what you need to get onto this course so for example subjects you need right here a levels usually required no specific requirements useful though to have any of these physics art mathematics so we know if we're looking down if we're looking to go down the architecture route there's nothing uh, in particular that we have to take but at least one of these if not two of these uh, would be favorable let's see career prospects gives you more information um, six months after graduating typically what do people go on to do architects town planners and surveyors long-term career paths uh, what employers like about this subject because remember you might do the subject but you might not end up working in that subject but what are the transferable skills that that subject gives you this is what this section really talks about so you know don't be disappointed if for example you do a degree in architecture but you don't end up becoming an architect exactly but you will have gained many skills which are transferable into different industries and that's kind of what that talks about uh, related subjects so if you are like yeah I do like the sound of architecture however it's not exactly pinpoint exactly what I want this section here might give you uh, a few other choices so that's really all you need but if you want to go in more detail search more all the courses in the country now you can have a look at the courses in more detail so for example let's go for this one here University College London engineering and architectural design so this is a combination. You might suddenly be like, oh, that sounds really good to me. You're going to click on it. Then you're going to have a look in more detail. What are the requirements here? Uh, triple A, does it say in any specific subject? No, no specific subjects. Yeah? Contextual offers. So again, no specific subjects, but you'll need three A's. Uh, but again, remember them three uh, topics or subjects which they preferred something in art, maths, physics, that's going to help you if you're choosing this kind of course. This gives you an idea and the price there. So you get the idea.